and we're back. It's an awesome movie. For those of you who like, I think his name is Tom Bluth. Something Bluth, I know that much. Okay. Question at time. Leave? Maybe? Possibly? How many hidden animals are there? Nine. Remember that from my first book. I remember I kept putting A because I thought it was just talking about the ones that were trying to hide. I didn't count the deer, so I was like, what the fuck? But me being the idiot that I am can put two together, two and two together and be like, oh, obviously there's nine because there's a deer there. Because there's eight other ones that I see. trying to find a roundabout way to get to where that Dr. Clamp is. Is that something? No, it's not. It's just an arrow sign. Say, so go this way. It's a scorpion. Scorpion arc terrorize. Um, F1. What was the nutritional source of the first organism that lived 9 billion years ago? That's not actually me being a science buff, that's me remembering the games. I think I got that one wrong uh, both times, you can get it wrong. Okay, this guy, simple boss, just avoid the poison. Because yes, he can poison you. Scorpion, makes sense. Now with his tail, he like sprays it out. Oh, and like an idiot, I just ran into his freaking tail. Yep, that's stuck there. Avoid the purple cloud. Otherwise, his tail is easy for the most part. Just don't run into it like I did. Or, you know, get too close to him. He's like, oh, I can eat you with my claws now. Okay, I don't know how that he hit me that one time. Watch out.
let's go with this one. There's a stairwell to the third floor. Ooh, Raptosaurus. you to save up your medicine fours as much as you possibly can. Those are handy. They heal for 400 HP. No, oh, just you three. That's fine. Hmm, so we are. 
still think it's lame that you can't get rid of those good luck charms. Ooh, box. Nurture is full. Show up. Another damn grenade launcher. Put it back. Actually, straight the junk for the last three. I'll investigate that other hallway in the second floor. If one. Armadillos and a raptor. Raptor will be my main focus. Get 
Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape! Which, oddly enough, I'm surprised we haven't encountered like a gorilla. That would make a pretty beastly enemy. I mean, they had bears, that's a start. Well, I guess they did have the monkey. Holy crap. So, I guess a gorilla would be a bit redundant. Ain't nothing in here. Can't sit here. Fire escape. And we want to go up. I can go up or down. That's what she said. No, really, that is what she said. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not making a sexual joke. Why would I make sexual jokes? I'm not sexual jokes. Oh, and then recently I was watching the, uh, I forgot the name. I know it has Ilk in it. It's like Peter something, but he breaks down those first three Star Wars films and everything wrong with him in the most epic way imaginable. And he does it in this weird uh, voice. While well, he also basically uh, throws out these random comments, and then there's uh, these montage clips of him. Uh, not montage clips, like side clips of him. Pretty much having this tied up woman who's like, please let me go, I'll do anything you want. Like, Shut up, I'm doing my review. Just like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Sorry, I didn't do it. Just let me go. And then uh, he eventually makes her sit down and watch the episode. And she's like, oh my god, those were horrible. And then she uses that as a means to escape. It's like she kind of, you know, it's like, oh hey, I, you know, I understand why you're this the way you are. And then she like clubs him over the head and runs. It's like, oh damn it, that ain't good. I'm gonna have to run from the cops now. Taking by mitochondria. Jesus, oxygen is nutritious. Aging! Medicine 3! The wink. The clown. Oh, I don't need to heal. Organs. I think those are. Those lungs or kidneys, I can't tell. I want to say those, I don't even know what the hell those are. They look like lungs though. And that one on the bottom looks like a stomach. Nope, they knocked over the caveman. Go home, caveman, you're drunk. Geico car insurance. So easy, a caveman can do it. Oh, that was actually kind of cool. It's like a little crisscross deal. I need to switch back to my rifle. Basically, it's, I think it's, uh, use it, and then for a time it's active, and then after a bit it expires. It's like, if you're about to die, use it. In 1987, Ken and Wilson placed a theory stating that it's humans who derived from mitochondria Eve, which organism is thought to be mitochondria Eve, an African female. Lesson 3, sweet. Sweet! Need to use any of those. Mash the red button? No, because there's monsters in there. Two looks like chameleons. And Arya's making dirty sexual noises.
do my junk collecting later. Item. Uh, right, so do we mash the red button? that door there. I think that one's locked. Hmm, let's find out. F1. It's locked. Well, hello there, Pterodactyl. You made me jump a wee bit. Kaka. Bring it on. scene where there's those five earthbenders and they just make that one little tiny rock go. I'm like, really? That's the best you can do? And I, was, I, I remember the uh, friend that I saw with, I was like, honestly, I kind of wish Michael Bay would have done this one. At least it would have been entertaining with all the explosions. He would have done something cool with the bending. Granted, the storytelling wouldn't have been any better. Because he would probably cast Megan Fox's, uh, shows that came on Nickelodeon for the, you know, for the 21st century compared to some of the other crap they got going on. I uh, don't need any of that. Granted, it's been a while since I've watched like, any kind of kids show. The main shows I watch nowadays are uh, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, and then Kinda of keeping tabs on True Blood, although like the last three seasons have sucked. Although the first half of five I thought was okay, but after that, just, ugh. Walking Dead, I think, has been good from start to finish. Uh, Game of Thrones again, good from start to finish so far. I'm anxious for season. Dexter, and I was thinking about getting into Sons of Anarchy. So I've heard good things about both, especially Dexter. There's not too many people I know that don't like Dexter. And I like the premise they set for it. It sounds like a very appealing show. Right, so I think at this point I need to find a key. Slips that door to there. Okay, can't go any further that way. That leads 
back downstairs, so there's only one way to go. Wall wide. That just leads to the fourth floor. Hey, did someone just lock the door? Probably. It won't open. You must have locked it. The best. Yeah, there's a box there. Oh, replace an item, show a three. SV protector. We don't have a tool, do we? Negative. Hmm. Where do you think you're going, little girl? Don't you know this area is restricted? Go through window. I slip. Oh my god. Okay. No, no, no. Wrong way. Damn it. Yes, I know. Basically, just make your way around here. And then she's like, uh, okay, looks like I'm in down. Yep. What should I do? Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Your own doink. The clown. Few made it. Yep. F1. Oh, another pterodactyl. Yes, I call that a pterodactyl. Why? Because fuck oh, that. Although I thought he was kind of eh towards the end. Silverhawk, I think that was the character's name. It was basically a merging between Tigerhawk and Hawk the Hawk Girl or whatever. Which I didn't give a shit for either one of them. 
then when they died, I was like, oh, they died. Meh. And then they get revived and killed again, which I thought was kind of funny, because that character lasted, I think, maybe one episode. Even though it was really that they, they didn't really die in the, I think it was the first season. They just got killed, or they got merged together, which, it's like, uh, what's the gender to this thing? I thought that plotline was kind of silly, because it's like, uh, what's the gender? Not when I was a kid and watching it, I was like, oh, you know, cool. You know, a new robot. Awesome. Then I got to thinking, like, wait a minute, what the, what the hell's the gender to this thing? Alright, so let's use our tool. One, one. Oh, so it'd be 59. 37. That would stay the same. Uh, did this, that. One and one. If I did that with that. Wow, actually, that'd be a good improvement. If I did that with that. Now that would be an improvement. It's actually tempting. I shan't do it. Yeah, I'll combine the protector with my jacket. Bonus points. Where do my bonus points go down? Oh, that's right. I spent some not too long ago, didn't I? City boy. There's another one down here. I can find it. Ah, defense plus one. That brings our defense to 60. Am I missing any of the characters from the show? I mean, there's a couple of minor, well, not minor ones, but there, are, there were quite a few characters in that show. Oh, yeah, Scorpion, I got obviously, because I referenced him. What's the pterodactyls? People were wondering if Tarantulas was supposed to be the uh, equivalent of Starscream or if the pterodactyl guy was. I personally thought neither of them were. I thought Dinobot was meant to be Starscream, the Starscream reincarnation. That would make the most sense because Starscream and Megatron, I think, in the comics or whatever, or the cartoon, they did have a fallout where Starscream was good. Either he turned good for a while or Megatron and stayed a good game, but I think it was he betrayed him for a time, but then realized, eh, can't do it. But he did, it's not like he still hated the Autobots, he's like, eh, I admire you guys and everything, but my play, I am not an Autobot, so. And I thought the portrayal of Starscream and the uh, Transformers was stupid. Took a perfectly awesome character and fucked him up. Used him for F and comic relief. And basically made a Megatron's bitch. Listen, you oversized bird. No, you will not do that to me. You will respect my authority. Let's go for the raptor. Oh wow, I didn't realize we were at the 35 minute mark. Wow. Okay. See how short it 